I think we were just trying to find our legs, you know, that first yeah. game home after a long trip. You know, it's, uh, you know, we were definitely had a lot of miles travel-wise. So, yeah, yeah. You know, it just, once we got going, though, I thought we were, we were pretty solid. Yeah. Uh, well, some good guys had some good games. There were some good uh, – you guys are around mm -hmm. the net a lot mm -hmm. and um, scoring, you yeah. know, finishing. Yeah, I mean, we the, the plan was to, you know, jam as many pucks of the net as we could. And, uh, 52 shots. Yeah, no, we, we put up a lot of shots, and you know, we wanted to get a lot of bodies going there, too. So we, we, when yeah. we play like that, it's a, you know, it's a tough, tough team to stop. And, you know, they were okay. I mean, it was just you got to keep it simple, and as long as you keep it simple, you're going to have good results. And we got a good, we got a good group of guys. We can roll four lines and, and try and wear teams down. Our play is, you know, yeah. the best it's been yeah. that I can remember. Yeah, well, we got the guy, we got a lot of good players, Lynn and Carey, Butler, Wilson in front. You got, you know, Camp from the back end, Rocco. I mean, there's just a lot of pieces to work with, and, and they're offensive minded, and you know, they, they got some good creativity. So. What happened late there with uh, your. your what were your discussions with Torch? Well, I just uh, I didn't appreciate the running around, you know, and you know, running I know, around. Yeah, their guys were running. It was ridiculous. You know, I, I don't mind our. It's a game, game, you mean? Well, yeah. I mean, you saw the game, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it was ridiculous, and uh, I've coached a long time, and you know, I can't remember ever doing that to a team when I'm losing, and, and I don't appreciate when teams do it to us. You know, you got to take your licks and suck it up, and then. Get ready for your next game. You know, I just I didn't like it, and you know, I don't care if he's a friend of mine or not. It was it was ridiculous. Yeah. What'd you say to him? Can you say? I told him. I said this is crazy. I said yeah. you know what? You, you keep sending your guys out there. And I said I don't appreciate it. I said somebody's going to get hurt, and it's a stupid way to play. That that day and age in hockey's over. You, you got to come and you know play hard. You know Zanin has a great hit, and a couple of their guys want to go fight him. I, I, I don't get this game anymore when somebody has a great hit and then somebody on the team feels they have to go start a fight you know suck it up take your legs and, and you know what you want to get a hit on Zanon later fine but Zanon plays as clean a game as anybody in this league yeah what how was his what was his reaction oh, I, don't, I don't really care what his reaction was yeah yeah too bad and then you talked again at the corner of the bench area same thing yeah same thing it was just you like know. I don't appreciate when Guys are out trying to deliberately hurt my players. Our guys play hard, we play clean, and I just thought that was ridiculous what they did. Do you think he put them up to it? Kind of called I went, for it? You know, it? Didn't look like he was telling them to stop. Yeah. When uh, when you were up, uh, when you were down three to two after the first period, did mm -hmm. you ever think it was going to be an eight to three game at that point? No, you know, we did a lot of good things. We just had our D zone coverage on two of the goals was very poor and we just talked about it in between periods you know we got McFadden back there who's you know wants to make an impression to stay so you know he was probably trying to do a little bit too much but you know I figured once we clean that up we would be okay I mean they got some guys over there you got to be aware of and when they get in the ozone you know they, they can make a lot of stuff happen so we just tightened up on our D zone coverage and kept pushing pucks forward and, and we got going. And uh, Colton's uh, first game is going to be kind of weird coming in at the, you know, with the new team and everything. But Corbin, yeah. Team? Yeah, I, no, I, uh, Corbin I thought was real good, you know, really solid. You know, he traveled all day long, and he was he was definitely fatigued. Uh, but he gave us everything he had. He made some really smart, heady plays with the puck. I uh, really loved that. And uh, the face-offs between him and Olsen were, were terrific. So he traveled today. Oh, yeah, today. he traveled all day. He left from? Um, probably from, well, from Albany, New York. Albany. Wow. You know, six o'clock flight, so he's wow. probably up at three thirty, four o'clock in the morning. Oh wow! Yeah, so I, he, he was uh, as as much as we like Drew. Uh, yeah. it's the business of trades, and uh, Corbin came in and did a great job for us. We didn't fit in. It seemed like the guys really like. It. Didn't sound like he knew that was coming because I was just here that day yeah. talking about him and Bobby. <laughs> yeah, and, you know, you know, they they call and ask for our opinion. You know, I didn't know this one happened until they until they actually did it, but. You know what? We're here to coach, not to right. run not the team. Decision. So yeah, yeah we, we yeah, just yeah. got to get the guys ready. That I guess it was a matter of they sounded like they really 
maybe didn't see a, a slot for him and mm -hmm. wanted to give him a chance somewhere yeah. else. You know, talking to Eric Joyce today, that you know Dale wanted to give him an opportunity because they didn't you know think he was going to get it with us, which I thought was crowded position. And, yeah, I mean he was, he was getting boxed out. Yeah. And he's been a great soldier for us. And Dale really thought, listen, we can get a good player back, and you know, let's give him an opportunity to go somewhere else. So well, that's good. Yeah. 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 Okay. Only, uh, I just noticed this. Only two guys, three guys, didn't score a point tonight. So oh, that, yeah. That's got to make it feel good, kind of spread it around. Huh? Yeah. I mean, you always want to get the balanced score sheet, you know. And um, you know, I thought it was uh, good that we were getting production from everybody, and that's what we talk about. We we expect Megan's line to score as, as much as we probably do, you know, Rocco's line. Right. So if you play the right way and you go to the net, you're going to get chances. And is, uh, with Rocco getting back with um, with Knight, is that, that's kind of a good thing too, right? Yeah, I think more on the power play because we're yeah. not going to play them together, at least not right now, five on five. I like I really like the way Brickley and McCary and, and Corbin looked. Uh, on the power play, certainly, you know, they'll probably play together and that'll yeah. be a good thing.